Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today we're doing a fun little variation on an arabesque. You're gonna be in front of the hoop with one foot hooked back behind you, and you're gonna have one arm free to make beautiful shapes. So this is a really cute little twist on a traditional arabesque inside the hoop. But first, I'm just gonna take a moment to advertise my channel. If you are new here or if you just haven't subscribed yet, then please do take a moment to subscribe because it helps me out a lot. It helps new people find the channel. It helps with bringing you these tutorials every week. So please do take a moment to subscribe or like if you're already subscribed and I'll be very grateful. Okay, here are your pro tips for this one. My first pro tip is to hook your ankle on the hoop high up on your ankle. That means the hoop wants to be touching as high as possible towards your shin. That's gonna help you keep your foot connected to the hoop and make going into this move a lot easier. My second pro tip is kind of a two-part tip. It's to have the hoop really well in your armpit and also keep your shoulder pressed down with that front arm, the one that is free and off the hoop. That's going to keep you nice and secure. It's not gonna let the hoop move anywhere and it's also going to look more beautiful if you're pressing down that shoulder, giving yourself a nice long And neck. my third pro tip is that if you choose to straighten your leg in the final position, then really think about lifting that leg up. If your leg is just straight down, pointing towards the ground, that can be cute too, but if you want that half split sort of look, you're gonna really need to use your muscles to lift that leg up as high as possible. Okay, those were your pro tips, so now let's break it down. From sitting in the hoop, you're going to place both hands on the top bar of the hoop, slightly wider than your shoulders. Next, bring both legs together and turn your body to face directly front, and slide your hips down and back out of the hoop, taking one leg out of the hoop towards the back. The hoop should be on the back of your front thigh at this point. Next, you're going to pull with your arms and bring your hips back towards the hoop as you bend your back leg and sneak your knee through the center of the hoop, hooking your foot, remember to keep the hoop high up on the front of your ankle, against the lower side of the hoop as you go. As I'm doing that, I also turn my body diagonally towards the side so that my leg is coming behind me. I slide out towards the front of the hoop and I place the side of the hoop opposite to the side my foot's on in my armpit. From there, I can let go with one arm. And I've got two options with my leg on the bottom. I can either keep it bent in the stag position or I can stretch it out and straighten it, coming into kind of a half split. When you're ready, place your front hand back on the side of the hoop. That's gonna control the motion of the hoop as you slide your back foot off of the hoop and you come into this hanging position in front of the hoop. Remember as you do this that you want nice pointed feet without sickled ankles. And here's the whole thing again in real time. This is a great move because it's a great way to be in front of the hoop, which is a little unusual in itself. It also shows off an interesting position and you don't need a lot of flexibility for it, just a little. One more reminder to please subscribe and like videos. And with that, I will see you guys next time.